high performance encryption. So when you look at the typical data center or the cloud deployment, you can, you can divide it into different planes, right? So here, what I'm showing in the bottom is a physical data center. And on top, this is your, your cloud, public cloud, right? Now, when you are connecting your public cloud to this data center, you, an enterprise, as an enterprise, you would like to use service like Direct Connect or Express Route or Cloud Interconnect because this, this guy in the middle is not, is not encrypted. This link itself is not encrypted. So you basically trust your own data center for sure. This is your trusted land. The public cloud is something you don't trust, but you trust in a way that you're putting your applications there, right? So, because they don't provide the, any data path encryption, but this guy in the middle is of course untrusted. Now, this is Equinix or CenturyLink or Verizon, could be anything, but what about if you want to encrypt this, right? So the one you want to encrypt this link here in the middle, you have an option to create an IPsec tunnel. And when you create the IPsec tunnel, you are limited by 1.25 GB throughput. So that's not good. So you purchase this 10 gig link, you want to encrypt it because this is what your enterprise wants for the compliance or audit reasons, but it's only limited to 1.25 GB. And why is it that? So if you look at the way other vendors or the, these cloud providers are building the tunnel, they actually use only one CPU core out of this virtual machine on instance. They have no way of utilizing all the cores to build those tunnels. So that's why you see this performance is limit to, limited to 1.25 GB, right? And this is true, not only when you're connecting cloud to on-prem, but also when you are connecting VPCs together, or even when you're crossing the cloud and connecting clouds together. So that's the limitation they have, right? Now the way we do it, this is our patented way of doing it. When we build the tunnel for, or we provide the encryption, we actually utilize all the CPU cores and that's how we can achieve line rate encrypted throughput. And this is what we call HPE, high performance encryption, or we also call it insane mode. Uh, if you go to our docs.aviatics.com website, search insane mode and you will see all the documentation for around this. Okay. Yeah, so this is how we actually do it. So we are utilizing all the CPU cores. So now when you look at the cases or the use cases or the problems you are solving for customers, when you're connecting this transit to Spoke VPC, and if you want encryption using third party mechanism, it's only 1.25 GB, right? Like I said, but in our case, you can go all the way up to 70 gig, which is even greater than AWS TGW, by the way. When you're connecting to on-prem is again line rate. So if you have 10 gig, we'll provide 10 gig line rate throughput there, all encrypted. Um, same thing is true for other clouds. And yeah, for Express Route, same thing. When you're connecting the clouds together, you're connecting AWS to Azure, for example, in this case, again, this is line rate. Whatever they, these guys provide or throttle with, we will honor that and we will give you that line rate performance here.